Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of trivia and money. This is HQ. I am your officiant slash host, Casey Jost. I live in your phone. I ask the questions, you tap the correct answers and win a bunch of cash. Now get ready to take a screenshot. Go. All right, that was fun. Now let's play. But before we do, first a quick rules rundown. HQ is a live trivia app that you play on your phone, but obviously you already knew that. You're a genius and I love you. Here we go, I'm gonna read 12 handsome questions that get increasingly difficult. You get 10 seconds to tap your answer. If you're correct, you move on to the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, and so on, you get it. But if you get all 12 correct, you win, or you split the cash pool with the other peeps that won. But I'm hoping that it's just you. Okay, you're my friend. Today's mega jackpot prize is $2,000. $2,000, that's a lot of clams. But what if nobody wins? Relax, my children, the cash gets added to tomorrow night's game. Hey, quick shout out, how about that, to some players in the chat, Amanda Kaplan, Julie Rubin, Kelsey Keith, Jeremy Cohen, and the Brooklyn Ramblers, I see you. I see you all. Guys, this trivia game is pregnant and about to deliver question one. Are you ready for this trivia baby? Did you wash your hands? Is your Wi-Fi on? Do you need Wi-Fi to deliver a baby? I don't know, but I know the game's coming, so here we go. Your first question is a food question. Let me know in the comments if you eat food. In which of these is pork often replaced with turkey? Rebel pilot porkins, baby back ribs, bacon. Which of these is pork often replaced with turkey? Time is up and first question is already to go. The answer is bacon. That's right, bacon. Turkey bacon has less fat than pork bacon. It also has less Twitter followers and 583,000 of you basted that question. Congratulations, we're off and running. Here comes a science question. I, now I claim to love science, but really only when it's a slow-mo video of stuff exploding. Q2. CRISPR is a tool geneticists use to do what? Overcook chicken, edit human genes, store lettuce. What does a CRISPR do? Geneticists, what do they do with it? All right, time's up, Q2. The answer is edit human genes. That's right. Whoa, here we go. 583,000, oh, 434,000 of you got that right. Nice job, you wanna give birth to some metahumans. Now scientists are about to edit human genes and I can't even edit a PDF. All right, here we go. Now this is not really for the Android fans, this is more of an Apple question, so there is a trigger warning. Here we go. Question three. Popular iOS reading app iBooks was originally released for which product? iPad, Mac, or iPhone? What was iBooks originally released for? All right, time is up. Now I remember back in 2010 when a loaf of bread cost 250 and the iPad was released. That's right, iPad is the answer. How did you guys do? 338,000 of you got that right. Awesome, you're on your way to winning tonight's loaf of bread, which is $2,000, okay? Now this next question is for all you world travelers. Q4 is coming your way. Which of these countries drives with the fast lane of a highway on the far right? Canada, Japan, or France? The far right highway. Have you been to these countries? Time is up. Have you been to any of these countries? If you've been there, you probably know the answer. There are 75 countries in the world still driving on the wrong side, and Japan is one of them. So Japan is the answer, but 157 of you, thousand of you, drove on the right side of that question. Congratulations, awesome. Yeah, we're doing it. Pretty good, but that was a pretty savage question. A lot of you guys got that, don't worry. Hopefully you got an extra life, you're still in the game. But if you got it right, get some wine and get some cheese and get pretentious because here comes an art question. Art question. Here we go. Artist Mark Chagall was born in what country? Russian Empire, France, San Marino. Mark Chagall born in what country? Russian Empire, France, San Marino. 
Which one is it? I hope you tapped your answer. I hope you get it right. Here we go. Now, first of all, the best way to check out Chagall's stuff is you want to go to an art history major's dorm room. He's got some weird posters. But Chagall is originally from the Russian Empire. That is the answer. And 34,000 of you are still in the game. You made a masterpiece of that question. Congratulations. A lot of people got knocked out. I feel for you. I'm sorry. If you got knocked out, you still have tomorrow's game. Stay, uh, keep watching. You learn something every time. Here we go. The next question is for my pretty young things. We got a king of pop question. When I'm talking pop, I'm not talking about how people in the Midwest call soda. I'm talking about... Michael Jackson once owned a chimpanzee with which name? Bubbles, Coco, Blanket. Chimpanzee, which name? This is a famous chimpanzee. Is it Bubbles, Coco, or Blanket? Which one? Now, if this chimpanzee, I don't know, could drive a car, it would need a driver's license. And what would the driver's license say? It would say Bubbles Jackson. The answer is Bubbles, folks. Bubbles is the answer. 22,312 people are still in the game after question six. Awesome. And if one of you is a recording artist and you don't have a chimpanzee, you are wasting your time. Get a chimpanzee. That's how you become successful. All right. Now, a lot of you are not monkeying around. And if you got that question right, you probably know a chimp is not a type of monkey. All right. We're halfway there, folks. Let's get down to business. Question seven. Which country has financially bailed out Dubai on more than one occasion? China, Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi. Dubai needed a little financial help. Got one of these, uh, one of these countries to help out. All right. The answer is Abu Dhabi. That's right, Abu Dhabi sold bonds to Dubai twice. Five, that was so, oh my God, savage question there, wow. A lot of people, I'm so sorry, got knocked out, but we still have 5,814 people still in the game. I, I wish that you could borrow an extra life from someone else to stay in the game, just like uh, Dubai borrowed from Abu Dhabi and I borrow from my dad. Um, all right, but a lot of you on your, on your way to financial security. The next category is movies. You have movies, you love them, you watch them, maybe you make them. This one is for you, here we go. What is the maximum length for a film to be eligible for a short film Oscar? 25 minutes, 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Maximum length, short film Oscar, what do you think? Maybe you know it, maybe you made a, a film and you submitted it and you, you, you know this and that's why you're still in the game and you're gonna stay in the game because you know the answer is 40 minutes. 40 minutes is the maximum. We got 2,267 people still in the game after question eight. Very nice. If you're a filmmaker and you got that right and you have a role for a gray-haired weirdo, let me audition. You don't even have to give it to me. Just let me audition. All right. 2,000 of you are so close to getting the part of tonight's winner. We have four questions left. Let's talk TV. Which one of these comedians was never a correspondent on The Daily Show? Samantha B, Seth Meyers, or Steve Carell? Never a correspondent on The Daily Show. Never. Samantha B, Seth Meyers, Steve Carell. What is the answer? Now, Steve Carell, famous for Anchorman, he was once sort of a co-anchor, a, a person who had been on The Daily Show. Samantha Bee, obviously a legend of The Daily Show. So that leaves Seth Meyers as the answer. That's right. Before his own show, he was on a little show called SNL, and 1,167 of you got that right. Live from New York, boom, you got it right. Big fan of SNL over here. I love it. I think you should check it out. That little show, SNL, is doing good. Big fan of Weekend Update, especially that guy. Michael Che. All right, three more questions left. Time for a music question. I like music. Which supergroup was formed by members of Duran Duran, Vinegar Joe, and Chic? Arcadia, Asia, The Power Station. Is it Arcadia, Asia, or The Power Station? Get your answer in if you've made it this far. Only a few more questions left. All right. Robert Palmer, John Taylor, Andy Taylor, and Tony Thompson. I know what you're thinking. Who are they? They are Power Station, folks. Power Station. What a name. Who's in the game? Power Station. Wow. 
I mean, I, not everybody knows that, okay? But check them out. Now you know, and now you can... 471 people in the game! Yes! You are the super group. Forget about Power Station. You have the power. You have the juice now. <laughs> All right. Two more questions to go. I'm feeling it. Are you excited? This next question is lit. Literature. It's a liter. It's a literature question. Sorry. It, it lit. Yeah. Which science fiction series pays homage to novelist jo Joseph Conrad with multiple references? Alien, The Terminator, The Matrix. Which one of those films pays an homage to Joseph Conrad? Are you nervous? Did you get your answer in? Are you nervous? Do you have butterflies? Does it feel like something is about to burst from your stomach? Say like an alien? Because that's what happened in that movie and that's the answer. Alien, 178 people still in the game. This is beautiful. Beautiful, folks. Wow. Here we go. You survived that question. And now this last question is for the whole kit and the caboodle. Not just for one or the other. We wouldn't just have the caboodle or just have the kit. It's the whole kit and the caboodle. I like to think a caboodle is a cat mixed with a poodle. What do you think it is? Wow. We have 178 people playing with two G's on the line. Question 12 is coming. It's a history question. Get ready. Get your fingies ready. Okay, you with me? Okay, I love this. I'm having fun, I hope you guys are too. It's Saturday night. Why did one colony not attend the first Continental Congress in Philadelphia? Delegates got drunk, needed redcoats, anti-amendment three. All right, you got your answer in. How do you feel? Back in 1774, one of the first big meetings took place in Philly, famous for Will Smith and cream cheese. But there was one colony that was notably delinquent. It was Georgia, and they weren't sipping Southern Comfort, no, no. They were under constant attack and needed help from the Redcoats. Your answer is a dependency on the Redcoats. We have winners, we have winners, folks. Oh boy, woo! <laughs> Nineteen! Woo! Nineteen! Nineteen winners! Wow! Nineteen people splitting $105.26. Donate that 26 cents if you can. You keep the 105 or whatever you want to do. I don't want to tell you what to do with your money. Shout out to everybody who won 19. Lucky 19. 2018, but it's 19 people, maybe there's something there, I don't know, but thanks for playing. HQ will be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, hosted by Sarah Priebus. And the prize tomorrow, folks, is $10,000. What are we doing? $10,000. I'm, I'm not just making that number up, they told me to say it, $10,000 tomorrow. Be there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to sleep underneath your other apps. Please send me the screenshots you took on Twitter or Instagram, at Casey Jost. I love you, I love my mom, I love dried mango, bye-bye. I'm gonna take my wig off. <laughs>